Hello, welcome. Uh, today we are going to be bringing you uh, solving problems on word problems in mathematics. Please hit the subscribe button by this side of the screen. If you have any questions and concerns, drop them on the comment section. Visit on our website www.jamwayeknekouni.com so that you can get all our lectures. So you are preparing for your post UTME, you are preparing for GCE, JAM and everything. Hit the website. Please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that every lecture that will release you will be able to see it. Up. So today we are going to be looking at uh, what problems. If you are writing post UTME, you are writing GCE, JAM, you are going to be meeting what problems. So what are what problems? What problems are those problems that come in form of statements that you need to convert from the statement to mathematical forms, then you solve them. So what are the procedures involved in solving a word problem? You have to choose a letter to represent the number required. They have to change the statement to mathematical form. They have to link up all the parts of the question into equation and you solve. So we're going to be doing this, demonstrating this with an example. Look at this example. One third of a number added, one third of number added to four fifths of itself is equal to 17. Find the number. One third of number added to four, four fifths of itself is equal to 17. Find the number. So to solve this is very simple. The procedure says choose a letter to represent the number. That's the first thing you do whenever you're solving a word problem. So we are choosing to represent this number that one third of it is added to four fifths to give something. We represent that number as S. And that's the first one we do. So you can see procedure one is let the number be X. Then procedure two is to what? Change the statement to mathematical form. So we change all the statements in this to mathematical form. So how do we change? We say that one third of the number, so what is one third of a number? One over three of that number X. So that's the first thing we converted. And it's added to four fifths of the number again. So what is the four fifths of a number? Four over five of the number x. Now that we've converted it, then we'll now link up the parts and solve the equation. So linking up, we say that one third of a number is added to four fifths to give 17. So one third of the number added to the four fifths to give 17. x over 3 plus 4, 4x four over 5 is equal to 17. So we'll solve down. So how do we solve that? The LCM is uh, of 3 and 5 is 15. So multiply through by 15. 15 times x over 3 will give us 5 because 3 will cancel 15 to give 5x. The same thing here. 15 into this, 5 into 3, into 15 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12, 12x. 12 15 times 17, 255. So make x the subject of the formula. We have x is equal to 255 over 17 to give us 15. So that very number is 15. And that is how you go about solving word problems. So once you solve word problems in this way, it becomes simple. It becomes very simple once you solve word problems in this way. Now we're looking at, we say that word problems are statements that can be expressed in mathematical forms. Word problems are statements that can be expressed in mathematical forms. And how to go about solving them is by one, representing the number with a letter X or with any letter that you choose. Then secondly, convert all the statements to mathematical form. Then totally link up all the mathematical forms to so form an equation and solve them. And that is what we've shown using this example. Please, if you like this, hit the subscribe button, like our video, share them so that your friends can see them. Uh, thank you for your subscriptions and support. If you have any questions and concerns, drop them in the comment section. Like I said because before, visit our website at www.jamboyeknekoyuni.com where we will show a lot of free lectures. You can also go to our other website known as tclass5.com where you see our uh, planned premium classes where you can pay and get structured lessons for yourself. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, drop it on the comment section. You can also reach me through my number if you're in Nigeria to assist you in any form of uh, educational resources and uh, question that you have. My number is plus two three four seven zero six seven one six two six nine eight. Let me come again. Zero seven zero six seven one six two six nine eight. Thank you and see you more.